We finally made it up to the top where the Royal Gorge Bridge and Park entrance is. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, there is a single point of entry and exit and face masks must be used when in public buildings and in confined areas. Today we visit the Royal Gorge Bridge and Park. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, we just were over at the, uh, the gondola area and they shut that down due to high winds. So right now I do want to apologize if it's kind of windy out here and they are picking up. But we walked across the bridge right over here and uh, they got all 50 states flags up and it was quite impressive. We got a lot of great footage of what's down 955 feet below us. So yeah, so we're gonna stick around a little while longer to see if we can actually take the gondola across and back. Uh, we're also gonna try to, only one of us can do the zip line because they won't allow us to take any of our video equipment across, obviously because they want you to buy theirs because they film you. For those that don't know or haven't seen or looked online, um, once you do the zip line, you can actually buy your footage. They video record you all the way down. So I have a feeling that's why they don't want us to take any of our video equipment across. So unfortunately one of us is gonna to have to carry the video equipment and the other person is gonna do the zip line. So if the, if the, the winds die down, then uh, we're gonna go across the zip line and do the gondolas. Yeah, unfortunately we put that challenge out to get 100 likes to go ahead and try to do the zip line for one of us. But um, if the winds are too, too drafty and they have the zip lines closed like they do right now and they don't open it up before we leave in the next hour and a half hour uh, or two hours then uh, unfortunately we'll just have to forego that experience but uh, it did look kind of incredible uh, there was one individual actually when I was doing the live that kind of got stuck just before he got to the edge of the gorge and he had a you know funny hop <laughs> his way over across so that was kind of funny to see kind of scary good thing it was a guy that um, had the demeanor that could handle that and wasn't too worried about it yeah so at first when they first uh, notified us that the winds were picking up that they may have to stop. They were going to do it in 15 minute intervals. So after the first 15 minutes, they just came back and said they're done. So everybody just kind of left a line. I don't know if there's anybody back on the other side. Because if you look over Dan's right shoulder, you can probably still see the bridge that we just walked across. Uh, pretty spectacular looking at the water down below. I, I don't know how deep it is, but it'd be great if we could do some whitewater rafting down that thing at some other time. And they do, there are other companies that do offer whitewater rafting on the Royal Gorge, and that is the Arkansas River. So that could Arkansas, be fun. Arkansas, where all my hillbillies at. Yeah. So that would be fun, uh, a fun item to do and put in our Colorado bucket list that we're creating. There's so much to do in Colorado. We can't do it in this one visit, so we will have to come back here. And if you looked at some of the footage when we were crossing the bridge, if you look down, there's going to be some train tracks there. You can actually take a train across as well. And I think I would love to do that next time. It is kind of pricey. Uh, the tickets just for coach class, uh, not eating, is $49 an adult, uh, $39 for children. And then, of course, you can go up from there. They've got a lunch menu, a breakfast menu, and a dinner menu, and higher classes. So you could actually pay quite a bit. I'm not sure at all what the train ride entails but we saw the train of uh, the rail tracks along the gorge river itself so i think it's more on on that level it doesn't come all the way up here on the mountain there were some people on the bridge uh with me earlier that i heard them talking and they were talking about that was the they had taken the, the railway over here i don't know what your time limit is to get to the gorge i don't know how long you got here if you take the train before you have to get back on the train and go back and one thing about the ticket prices here, uh, we just got the standard ticket prices to enter the bridge. It's $29 for an adult, and that includes gondola rides, unlimited. Um, if they're open, one thing we learned is you want to go first thing in the morning. And actually, the, the receptionist at the desk where we got the tickets, tickets told us that because as the the morning wanes and, and we get in the afternoon, then the winds start picking up like they did while we were in line so if you come here early they open up at eight o'clock you can go ahead and get on the, the gondolas right away so stick around because we may actually have the footage of us going across the gondola and possibly dan going across the zip line fingers crossed we hope
When you go through the visitor center and enter the park, you walk right past the Royal Gorge clock where you can pose for pictures. But what is most impressive is that this clock is powered solely by water through its water wheel. Well, we just left the Royal Gorge and some might say it was sort of a bust. Yeah, it was kind of a bust because unfortunately we couldn't stick around to wait for the ones to die down because we do have Roadie 1 and Roadie 2, which would be, you know, Taylor May and Ava Rose, our dogs. We have to get back to them because we're like an hour and a half, maybe two hours away. Um, and we haven't eaten lunch yet, so we're gonna stop and eat lunch. We made the decision to leave the gorge and not do the zip line and not do the gondolas. Uh, because of wind, well, we didn't make that decision, Mother Nature did, but we made a decision not to wait around because we still need to get something to eat um, and get back to the dog so we can let them out and let them go run free for a little bit. Yeah, and so the reason it's kind of a bust was because, well, you pay $29 to get in. That includes free gondola rides back and forth. Um, of course, you have to stand in line for it, but if you don't get that then all you can do is walk across the bridge and that's really your only option so you're paying a lot of money just to walk across the bridge they did have a theater over there uh, they limited it to only 32 people at a time every half hour for COVID reasons and so we kind of missed our one o'clock we missed the 12 30 and we weren't gonna wait around to try to get in line for the 1 30 because again we had to get on the road to get back to roadie one and roadie two they also had a barbecue uh, a barbecue joint so you can eat if you want to but just like everything else uh, the prices are <laughs> so skyrocketed high that you know if you don't plan to eat so that's why we left as well because we wasn't gonna pay those outrageous prices just to eat some what to me sound like prefab it smelled like prefab burgers it didn't smell good for all my military friends that's ever done a burger burn you know what I'm talking about so buyer beware when you're going there that make sure I would say try to get the weather app and see what the winds are going to be or what they're predicted to be so you don't uh, end up in the same situation we did because we were trying to bring you content the view is great from the, the bridge by the way it is I mean it's not I wouldn't say it's a $29 view but it's it's, I mean, you can get the same view probably free from the internet. Definitely, definitely. We did walk across the bridge and there are some spectacular views down in the gorge. And don't forget when you go to the Royal Gorge, you can take your own lunch with you if you want. Uh, pack plenty of water, drinks, and something to eat. They do offer services like uh, beer and soda and uh, other food, sandwiches, etc. but they're very expensive. So just beware of that. They will get your money because there is no other place to purchase anything. If you have children though, please keep an eye on your children because twice when we first pulled in, we saw somebody, they were ahead and that kid could be no more than three, maybe four years old and walking by himself like way behind the group and nobody was, you know, wise to where this kid was at. And then when we got walked across the bridge, there's steps that lead down from the theater down to the main walking area so you can head back over to the bridge. And there was a lady that wasn't keeping an eye on that kid, couldn't bend no more, maybe one and a half, two years old. And I, I <laughs> had to step in and catch this little kid before he actually stepped off and tumbled down these stairs. So, I mean, they gave me thank yous and everything, but at the same time, I know that there's a lot of things to get you enamored with over there. The views are stunning, but just make sure you keep an eye on your kid. More and more, I'm starting to understand what people put their kids on leashes. <laughs> so that wraps up the, the video of the Royal Gorge and our experience with it. We hope to see you in the next video.